Hi everyone, Teddy Baldassar with teddybaldassar.com. In this video, we're looking at some gold, a lot of gold here with two PRX models that of course are coming in gold, PVD, one in 35 millimeters and one in 40 millimeters. So in this video and on this channel, we cover watches available for purchase on our website, teddybaldassar.com as a full authorized dealer. So in this video, deep dive on these watches, final points of consideration at the end, but also throughout this video, if you have further questions, check out the links in the description of the product pages where you can learn more and purchase the watches. But guys, let's jump into the video and take a closer look at this watch. When the Tissot PRX line was introduced in 2021, many people loved it for a variety of reasons. Some loved it for the fact that it just delivered great value. Other people liked the idea that it had some retro styling. And then you had another group of people that just liked how it pulled from, say, some high horology brands in delivering a package and format that could be way more accessible but still look the part. But with that last group, there might have also been some interest of what about some different colors? Maybe something that looks like it has a bit more personality and flex type of nature to it. If you find yourself taking that stance, then you're probably going to like the two iterations we're going to look at today. The Tissot PRX in 35 millimeters and 40 millimeters with a gold PVD case. And with that gold treatment, allows this watch to make a powerful throwback statement. Now let's start by taking a look at that 35 millimeter variant or the smaller of these two options. Now to speak to why 35 millimeters was chosen ultimately was because of that original 1979 C-Star reference that was going to be exactly made in that size. So when it comes down to respecting the archive, 35 millimeters is a direct one-to-one -one recreation of that original watch in which the PRX is going to of course pull from. Pairing that diameter with a 39 millimeter lug to lug and a very slender case coming in with a thickness of 9.8 millimeters, the 35 millimeter watch is a smaller one certainly and we're as close to that of a 36 millimeter when on the wrist. I would say it is going to be most appropriately defined in maybe similar to that of some Oyster Quartz models from the past as well as some vintage date just. Moving over to the 40 millimeter diameter, you're getting five millimeters of jump from that case size. Uh, in a very similar type of wearing dimensions across. You're only adding about slightly more than half a millimeter of thickness, so not a significant jump there, and then a lug-to-lug -lug of 44.6 millimeters. That considered, the lug-to-lug, -lug, if you measure at that farthest point on both of these watches, is going to extend out farther, so they are going to wear both slightly larger than that proposed dimension set. As is the case across the entire PRX collection, the finishing on the case and bracelet on this model is still some of the best that you will find for the price, especially when considering the more attainable positioning of these quartz variants. While otherwise identical to the standard PRX models, these distinguish themselves with that PVD gold along the outside that is striking to look at and still offers a lot of the same case facets and highlights with the polished elements that allow these to really pop. One thing to mention though, of course, here is going to be how that will maybe age over time. PVD coating is not going to be indestructible by any means. I do find that Tissot does a pretty good job with their PVD coating uh, to allow these watches to withstand kind of the wear and tear, and it might not look the greatest over time. But still for this price segment, I think that's a risk worth taking if you like this design style. The crown is seated within the case slightly offering a compromise between protection and accessibility while also being signed with that Tissot T, pairing with the simply adorned case back and securing the watch's 100 meters of water resistance. The bracelet seamlessly transitions into the case and again demonstrates how Tissot did not cut any corners when it comes to this watch. And as you turn the bracelet and the watch underneath the light, it really does pop with some extravagant flair for a watch of this price segment. There are no points of micro adjustment in the clasp. I have not had any issues sizing the Tissot PRX models to my wrist. It does take a bit of trial and error to get it right, but usually you can get it right with some uh, modifications uh, depending on what length you're taking out. In either size, these watches exhibit a gold tone take on what is essentially the exact same dial format from the previous Quartz PRX iterations, including the faceted applied indices, a date window at three, and printing of Tissot in 1853 at 12, with a writing of PRX and a retro style logo at six. The indices and hands are going to contain a small amount of Superluminova, which glows, I would say, adequate at best. There are times where a gold tone watch is sometimes just not going to fit the design style of the watch itself. 
But the shift from the previous stainless steel options into this gold uh, PVD coated uh, format, it just simply works both with the dial as well as the case and really does, I think, align itself with that 1970s flair and design aesthetic and also offering up that high horology appeal at a much more attainable price. Now turning the watch over, we have a simple screw down case back engraved with only the most basic information while keeping watch over the Swiss quartz caliber within. Both of these watches contain the ETA F06-115, and while it's nothing sexy, it is a trusted quartz caliber from one of the most prominent makers of movements in Switzerland, offering three jewels, a battery life of at least five years, as well as an end-of-life indicator that causes the second hand to jump in four-second increments when the battery needs to be replaced. As of now, the gold tone is only going to be available in these quartz variants. So that is something you're going to have to live with for all you quartz snobs out there. But when it comes to the objective truths around quartz, get a set it and forget it type of experience where you're not going to have to worry about accuracy with the plus or minus accuracy here coming in at around 15 to 20 seconds a month. Of course, simple hacking is going to be on display here, a quick set date. And again, that battery life is going to be extended out to five to seven years on average. One point I will mention, given the price segment that these are going to fall under and the quartz movement on the inside, do not have unrealistic expectations that the second hand is always going to align with those markers on the outside. That is not always the case. So just keep that in mind. If you are looking in the direction of the watch, that is something to consider. So all right, now unpacking, looking at these new Tissot PRX models in gold. Let's be honest here. The very reasons why you would buy this watch and not buy this watch are the very same. Gold, gold. Do you like it? Do you not like it? This is going to be a watch that is going to have some more emphasis on making a statement. And if you are someone looking for a watch of that style, I think you know where to look. This is probably one of the more attainable options of offering some flex mentality in a price range under $1,000 and not coming off as this horrible gaudy creation. I think that's the beauty of this watch. It gives you kind of that flair without sacrificing the core identity of what the PRX is and this whole family has to offer. When it comes to differentiating the sizes, I think the 35 millimeter variant is gonna be more appropriate for smaller wrists out there wearing like a 36. And then the 40 millimeter variant, if you have not tried these on yet, is going to of course be the same as as those previous iterations wearing slightly larger than the proposed 40 millimeter case, maybe a 40 and a half uh, to 41 millimeter watch, all things considered. And then one other unique characteristic for these models, that gold PVD, although going to be done well by Tissot, might look rough when worn with a lack of care. So just consider that gold PVD is not going to be indestructible and will show signs of wear over time with scratches and things of that sort. But otherwise, more of the same from the Tissot PRX family, just a lot more gold to go along with it. All right, everybody, thank you again so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. That really does help out the channel. But also, if you're in the market for any of the watches featured in this video, Definitely check it out on teddybaldasar.com and in the links in the description. We're a full authorized dealer for all the new products that we sell on our site. Quick and fast fulfillment, dedicated customer support, and a full factory warranty for all the products that we offer. But guys, thank you again so much for watching. Be well, and I'll see you all very soon.